Hey everybody, we're back with Cooking in Conversation with Vicki and Keisha. Hey, hey Vicki. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank awesome. you. Awesome, you see that I put my hair up today. I learned my I first see. lesson. <laughs> it looks beautiful. Yes, yeah, so do you. So thank you. Put the hair up in the kitchen as much as possible. Yes. <laughs> I'm a little out in the back, but I ha I, I have to keep it like out of your face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So today is a dish that I've never made before. That you're gonna show me. So tell us what we're cooking up in the kitchen today. We are making chicken and waffles. Ooh. Fried chicken and waffles. Yay! Fried chicken is a funny thing because everybody has their special way to make it, right? But yeah. I just, just make it the way, this is a simple recipe, but you can make it however you like, but add it, the salty and the sweet is just the best combination. Yes, yes. That's such like a, that's like a staple, like a yes. southern staple. <laughs> yes, it's so good, so I'm good. so excited. All right, so step one, what's the first thing we got to do? Okay, first thing you got to do is get your chicken. Mm -hmm. So seasoned American we ready. Like. Yeah, so you get some chicken wingettes, and we've already seasoned ours. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is pop our oil into a pan. I'm using a pan like this. I I like to use a deep pan okay. because it's almost like a deep fry. I just like the way it, the crisp comes out. Perfect. And I'm using a regular pot, guys, because I don't have a deep one, but Vicki suggested to have something yeah. deeper. If you don't have a pan like that, use a soft pan because it can get deeper into the pot. Perfect. So we're going to heat our pan up. I do a, a medium high, not high, high, almost like um, I want it to fry, but I don't want it to pop so much. So yeah. it cooks slow, but it crisps up. So okay. um, we're going to. Put our fire on medium high, add in some vegetable oil. Okay. And like I said, our chicken is already seasoned. We are using garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, sazon, poultry seasoning, pepper, and salt. Perfect. How much oil am I putting in my pot? Like, like about six inches, four inches? Um, it's about four inches. I use the whole bottle of mine, but this is, um, a, a quart. Okay. 48 ounces. I think that's enough. That's you just want your chicken to kind of float in there. So we're going to let that heat up. Okay. And a little trick I learned is if you have a wooden spoon, mm -hmm. how we'll know when it's done, you stick your spoon in and it'll start to bubble up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, my mom would like throw, like wet her hand and throw water in it to see if it would sizzle. Woo! <laughs> I don't play that game. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> That's the old school way. That's old school, yeah. <laughs> I learned this cool. trick a long time ago, and you just stick your wooden spoon in. When it bubbles, it's ready. Okay. All right, great. So our chicken is seasoned, but now we have to do our flour. Okay. So we're going to pour our flour in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Maybe about two cups, I guess, about that. And I guess it depends on how much chicken. I don't measure. I know that's horrible, but yeah. I don't measure. And then we're going to throw all our seasoning into the flour as well. So our chili powder, garlic powder. Some sesame. Everything except for the salt. The salt we leave for the end. Okay. You know, Onion powder. I was thinking about you last night, and I was like, you know what, Vicky, I'm gonna start calling you like fly by the seat of your pants and make it work. <laughs> <laughs> you just do whatever, and it tastes amazing. Just throw this in there, throw that in there. <laughs> For real, that's how you learn. That's how I learned how to cook. I mean, I need a recipe. I'm like, I want like one 
teaspoon, <laughs> one tablespoon. Oh, see, you know what? I'm like that when I bake. I have to follow the directions full throttle. Yeah. But when I cook, no. Yeah, yeah. So once you get all your in, your seasonings in, you just take a fork and kind of just, you know, stir it around. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to just start flouring our chicken. Just start seasoning your chicken. Make sure you coat it really good. And then just pop it into a bowl. You can do a couple pieces at a time, two, three, four, depending on how big your bowl is. Okay. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Huh? Are you making a mess? I That's okay. Flour all over me. You're flouring them all at the same time. Yup. Okay, great. I know some people use egg. They do a full. I do that sometimes, but to me, this is just the best way. It's simple. It's right to the point, and it gets a nice crisp. My chicken's all nice and um, floured, including my jeans. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> I'm not wearing any jeans. <laughs> oh, I meant yeah, to go ahead. I meant to ask I, another question too. So this oh. is the question I have: What is your favorite part of the chicken wing? The the drumette or the wing? Yes. Which one? The drumette. Oh, uh, I know. Uh, in my house, Aaron and Alani love the flats. Yeah, the flats. That's what they call it, right? Flats. Yeah. Yeah. The flats. That's all. I know. I like them both, but if I if I had to pick, I would get a whole like I would just do all drumettes. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It's something about that piece on the end that I don't. And I, for me, the for the flat part, I like like ripping it apart and like getting all the meat. Oh. In the I could see how now when you say that why you like that. Aaron and Alani like to eat crabs, and it's that process of picking it apart. Where I don't like to eat crabs, so I want to just I, if I do, I get the big one where I can just okay. get the full meat. All the meat. So I, yeah, so I guess that's why I like the drumette. Now that I think of it, maybe that's why. Who knows? Well, perfect. When we go out to eat, when we get wings, we, we get all the flats. Okay. I get all the drumettes. Love it. <laughs> okay, cool. I just wanted to know all right so we when i do my chicken i don't put a lot in there at one time i i do like maybe depending on the size of the pot my pot is pretty big but i'm going to probably do about um three to four, four at a time because the more you put in the, the lower your heat will go okay such a great idea for me to use the bigger the, the thicker pot so it covers it all the way yeah that's what helps give it that crisp yeah mm -hmm. it's like going in a deep fryer exactly i would have never mm -hmm. thought to do the to use mm -hmm. the maybe getting a little bowl throwing some salt in it throwing what so when your chicken comes out after it's fried all the way i just grab a little pinch and i sprinkle it on top while it's still hot Right, so sprinkle a little salt on top of the chicken. Okay. Yeah, once it's done and it comes out, it's in your bowl. Okay. How yeah. do we know that it's how do we know that it's done? So eyeball it. How I know the chicken will start to bleed. You leave it on one side, it'll start to bleed. Mm -hmm. And then you once it starts to bleed and the blood gets a little bit like not so pinky, more browny. Yeah. Flip it. And then just let it cook. I would say it takes about maybe I would say five minutes, three to okay. four to five minutes on each side, something like that. Yeah, I think I put two. Well, I, well, I I think I have because of the way my pot is, it's like completely covered. That's and fine. So I'm gonna flip it. See, mine's just mine's just two. Just that my pot is wide. Right. Exactly. This looks so yummy, fried chicken. I know. I, and it's, I love the way fried chicken smells. I don't like it after it's like when you leave the house and you can still smell it on your clothes. I know. I know. But I love the way it smells. 
So while our chicken is cooking, we're gonna go off to the waffles, right? How do you yep. explain how we're gonna do our waffles? Okay, so we're gonna put them in the waffle maker. We're gonna use whatever your favorite, yeah, my Keisha just showed, whatever your favorite or any um, batter. You can make it from scratch if you like. I buy the box and the instructions are right on the back if you need them. I just eyeball it. And then you're gonna add the appropriate water. I throw in a little bit of vanilla. You can also throw in almond extract if you like. That changes the flavor, it's like a sweeter. Um, so we're gonna get that put together while our chicken's frying. Sounds great. Mm, that looks so good. And here's mine. We good. Perfect. See? Uh, not bad. Yes. Uh, I know. It looks great. Oh, we gotta add our little pinch of salt. One pinch oh, of salt. yes. The salt. I forgot. Stop. Just throw a little bit on the top. While it's hot, it'll um like soak it right on in. Okay. Feels so fancy. So I need a little um a little scooper. Okay. Oh yes. I don't mind my messy cabinets. <laughs> Girl, I'm saying <strange. laughs> Oh, and my my kids do the um my kids do the dishes every day but Saturday, so they I'm always like put the Tupperware back the right way. <laughs> now with the waffle maker, I don't use this too often. So am I supposed to? Some people spray it. I don't. I mean, you can you can throw, but the the batter has a little oil in it. If you put some, I don't. You can put a little butter if you like. I don't. I just. I just leave it as it is. Like I said, I'm so basic in the kitchen. So, like, the fried chicken is like giving me life right now that I'm actually. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome because you know you can you, fried chicken can be with any. I mean, anything you can have it with anything by itself with some bread. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Uh -huh. I can't stand you. Now I gotta try my piece. I'm gonna cheer to you with a flat. Oh, you got a drum? I got, I got oh, a drum. Oh yeah, okay. Well, I'll do your flat. All right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Flavor. That's the thing I love about your cooking is the flavors. Thank you. Wow. It's not too much, but it's like it's on point. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's so crispy. I've never thought to put Cezanne in it either. This is on no. chicken. Well, I'm Puerto Rican. We put that on almost everything. <laughs> yep. Puerto Rican and Jamaican. I cook with a lot of spice. Yeah, we do too. That's why I love cooking. I love yeah. mm. Mm -mm -mm. So good. Okay. The batter is all made up. Yeah. So I just use a scooper mm -hmm. and you don't want too much. You just really want it to go into the center. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. I'll add just a little bit. And then just close it. And then just close the lid. That's it. Yay! Coming home. Bye. Look, y'all. Mine's coming on. <laughs> Let me. It's coming out. Oh. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> Smoke. Call the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Help. Yeah. Waffle right there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Mm. I don't know. Mine hasn't stopped smoking yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna peek. Oh. 
think it's the one. Yeah, it's done. Um, Skinny waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Waffle crisp. <laughs> <laughs> mine is mine is good. Yeah, that's a Belgian waffle. This is a waffle crisp. <laughs> I can slap somebody with that. <laughs> you ever had a waffle slap? gonna double stack mine. Okay. I'm going to take the plate, add a little syrup. Mm -hmm. On the on the waffle? On the bottom one. Oh, oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then I'm gonna put the top. Okay. Add just a little bit of syrup, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sprinkle on some powdered sugar. Sugar? Not a lot, just a sprinkle around, maybe a little around the plate. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to add some chicken. Can do a couple pieces on top. So I did the one layer, threw a little syrup, mm -hmm. the next layer of waffle, a little syrup, some powdered sugar. And then some chicken on the side, on top and on the side. And then I do just a little side of a little bit more syrup. Mm -hmm. mm, that looks amazing. Say something so we can see it. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to say something because so your face will pop up when you speak. So oh, go ahead. There's chicken and waffles, Vicky Lemon style. <laughs> the moment of truth. Uh, the slice. You want to come over here so maybe you can see me cut it. Slice me a piece of chicken. Put it all together and what do you get? Yeah, I'm going to take my bite. I'm waiting for you. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to dip my, my waffle. Mm -hmm. oh my God. So good. Phenomenal. The sweetness of the waffle with the crunchy, crispy, flavorful. Because I've had chicken with waffles and a chicken has no flavor. Oh, no. It's so it's not the same. Chicken has flavor. Mm, thank you. So good. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I agree. I'm on with you. So good. So good. <laughs> so good. All right. One more bite. Okay. You enjoy. One more bite. Mm. Going in, guys. Dip that. Dip that. Yup. There you go. And it's really easy to make. It's not hard to make at all. Mm -hmm. That was way easier than I expected. Yeah, it's so easy to make. Mm -hmm. It was really delicious. Mm -hmm. And then if you have leftover chicken, you just make it, put it with dinner. So that, we can do that. That's a breakfast or a dinner. You know, I mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, thank you yep. so much, Vicky. You're welcome. Thanks for having me, Keisha. Thank you. And once again, everybody. Please, please go check out Vicky Lemons on her Instagram page, All Things Team Lemons. Yes. YouTube as well. Check her out there. She, yes. She is doing not just cooking, but also so inspiration to me all the time. So, oh, thank you. Follow me as well at, at Keisha Bar on Instagram. And same thing, Keisha Bar on Instagram. Too. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>